All right, we got some shots here. Uh, this is really interesting. This was earlier today, ladies and gentlemen. This is a group of uh, Monarch Sport Management World Champions, Tim Austin, our boxing's only mascot, as they visited Joe DiMaggio's Children's Hospital this morning to give away some toys and make some real beautiful children very happy at this most festive time of the year. I said, Dak, look at this. It's just been great, Smitty. I tell you, this was really wonderful. There's the trainer, Aaron Snowwell, newly crowned uh, Richard Hall, handing a gift now. He's a newly crowned light heavyweight champion from the WBA and this is this is what it really makes us a tearjerker Sean Bay Mitchell the WBA junior welterweight champion I tell you what these are class guys and I and I'm really extremely proud of them for what they did for those children this morning all right the crowd loves it Christie looks like the beaten fighter and my scorecard will get a dead even Bob, Bob I have it 4-4-1 four, four, and one, dead even it's uh, the winner of this round in my opinion wins this fight all right let's see who has the most left did Christy reach down to that well or is Samaya going to be too good an athlete to let it go I tell you it looks like Samaya Nani folks has no quit in her she's very determined and these, both of these girls are just going at it toe to toe. It's incredible. And Christy really winning shots now. She knows she needs this round. This didn't look like she's hurt. The heads came together again. And she was really kind of wincing when she was in pain. It yeah, looked like to me it, it, that the heads clashed right on the mouse. Oh, the left hook did too. Right on the, on the Christy's right eye. It's a very painful thing. Those dreadlocks, uh, they tell me, hurt too. Well, when the heads come together, they kind of have a tendency to turn. And that's probably why she has her hand in the Christy, Christy, in Christy's trouble. backing up here. I think she's in a little trouble. She got hit with a pretty decent right hand in that last exchange. And, and the power the seems not to be in her punches as much as it was around the two ago. She doesn't have the power right now. And Annie's right on top of her. Christy landing some shots. And Annie will not stop throwing punches. And she's dragged Christy in the slug face. Christy just banged her to the body. But Christy looks like she's hurt. Like she's tired, like she's fatigued, like the cold is really bothering her. She's not herself tonight. A lot of that reason is because of what Sumaya and Annie's doing, and some of it has to do with the cold. Non-stop action the entire ten rounds for both the fighters. Well, I think I think the Samaya Nani, and more so than any cold, if it is a cold, she would have been really weak. But this girl Samaya has done herself proud. I, that's kind of strange, but my clock uh, looked like that round was a little, little short. I don't well, know. It was a short round, and I'll tell you this: Nani probably won that last round, and if she did, according well, to my scorecard, we get a major league upset here. Well, I tell you what, that would be really, really something. But look at, uh, look at the face of Christy Martin. This was a great fight, and, and I'm telling you what, it really made Samaya Anani as it was a coming out party tonight, Colonel, and I think she did well. Well, for Christy, it's fortunate for her that the world titles weren't on the line, yes. but because of what Anani's done tonight, no matter how the scoring goes, because it is close, I think Anani may have done enough to win this fight. See how the judges see it, but no matter what they say, this fight's going to happen again and for the world titles. You're absolutely right about that. And there's some girls out there, Colonel, that are probably watching out here tonight. Look at this. Here's the end of the round here. Let's see. Anani was just winging and banging hands and going to the body. This was your, oh, that was a low blow. And I don't, I don't know how that goes. A low blow that is. Now this is a little a little earlier in the round and, and let's see both fighters are going at it flurrying back and forth. I tell you it was like just the entire time, uh, 10 rounds tonight and no matter which way it go you're absolutely right. But as I was saying earlier there's some girls out there the Isra Gergas, the Melissa Salamones that we've seen earlier. These girls are going to have to take heed to what they've seen in the ring and I think they'll all be itching to get at either Christy or Samaya here coming up real soon. Well I got it scored Samaya winning at 96 95 we we'll wait for the judges, and it must be close because Jimmy Lennon's still working on getting them together. But look at Christie's face. Wow. If you go to the schoolyard, you know who won. Uh, there's no question about that. That's not, that's a, a sign of someone that's been in, a, in one heck of a fight tonight. But Christy Martin, there's no, no doubt about it, one of the best fighters in the world. Uh, she's not herself tonight, but we'll see what happens. All right, so we're set to go. Let's go to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, we've all seen a great 10 rounds of action. No matter who the winner is, they both deserve a round of applause of recognition. Sumaya Anani and Christy Martin, a great fight.
Well, fans, after these 10 rounds of action, we have a majority decision here. The score totals, judge at ringside, Stu Winston scores about 95 to 95, even a draw. Judges at ringside, Jay Cassis and Rick Bays, they both see the bout at 96 to 94 in favor of the winner, the Island Girl, Sumaya Anani. Well, so it was a major league upset. Sumaya Anani is on the books now as a great fighter. It's Christy Martin's second loss. But wow. she will get herself in shape, and they'll do this again for a world title. Uh, there's no question about that. I'm sure that great promoter, Don King, would not let this go without bringing this back again. But, folks, what we've seen tonight, what you witnessed here, was one heck of an upset, and it was a great, great fight. Stick right with us, folks. We're getting Jimmy in there, and we're going to interview both fighters. Well, this girl All right, here so we go. Let's go to Jimmy Smith. With, with Samaya Anani and a tremendous victory, what a battle for the entire 10 rounds. What were the keys to victory? What were the keys to victory? Stay on her. Stay on her and don't get off. But I, I did. I got off, and I would, they kept telling me in the corner to stay on her. And I guess I was pacing myself. I haven't went 10 rounds, so I was maybe trying to... Just make sure I had enough gas at the end, because I know that sometimes she runs out of gas towards the fifth, sixth, seventh round. Did she hurt you at all during the fight? There were a couple of times some of the body shots looked like you were, you may have been hurt. I think her body shots didn't really hurt me, but she hit me a couple of times to the head. She. This certainly, this certainly was a learning experience. Uh, your 12th professional fight, but I bet you learned more in this one than the entire 11 before. Yeah, yeah, because she, she's had the experience, and when you're in the ring with somebody who has experience. You learn. Whether you want to or not, you learn. You learn the hard way sometimes. You mentioned that she was, uh, you idolized her. What was it like fighting and now beating your idol, Christy Martin? It was wild. It was, because in my journal, I keep a journal, and like two years ago, when I first fought, I found a picture of her in this magazine, I don't know what it was, and I cut it out and put it in my journal, because she, she looks like my neighbor, Rhonda, except for she's, Christy's got brown hair, and my neighbor's got blonde hair. And I just wrote, I wonder if I'll fight her something. You know, it was just kind of like one of those. And all the synchronistic actions that have happened led me up to this event. It was really weird. Was... Well, what about a rematch? Spirit of Chance. Yeah, she deserves a rematch. I mean, it's a hard fight. All right. It's a good fight. Congratulations on a great uh, win. Certainly a fight that could have gone either way. Christy, it was uh, very close the entire 10 rounds. Uh, did you think you won the fight? No, I didn't win the fight. It was a good fight, but. Um... I want to say first of all to my family, I love you. I'm sorry if I disappointed you, but um, I gave it my all. You always give it your all, and you went into this fight with a cold and certainly with some personal problems. Did that affect you at all? You don't make excuses. I'm not that kind of fighter. I came in the ring. That was my choice. I did the best I could do tonight. She was just a stronger fighter. She hit me with her head a lot, and it, it just it wore on my face so bad that I just couldn't keep taking the punishment, so I couldn't stand in there exchange punches. Would you like a rematch? You know what? I told Jim before we came into the ring tonight, I said, this is it. If we can't fight Riker and we can't fight Kathy Collins, I'm done. I'm ready to move on with my life. We have a great, a great 135 pounder, Luis Ramos, a good heavyweight, um, uh, Nate Hallett, and I want to spend my time trying to promote and help Jim train those guys. And um, you know what? I made over a million dollars and there's no other woman that's going to come close to that. And I would have had to talk school for 40 years to make that much money. So I'm way ahead of the game. Well, and you're certainly destined for the Hall of Fame. But based on your performance, I still think you have some fights left in you. Congratulations on a, on a great fight. Thank you very much. Let's throw it back to Colonel Bob and Sheridan at ringside. All right, back here at ringside. Surprising words, Cal, by Christy Martin talking about retiring. Yeah, that's very surprising to me. I mean, Christy Martin has been on top of her game for so long. That was rather shocking to me, but it could be just a reaction from the from the fight tonight. I think she gets home and sits back and, and reassesses that. All right, uh, very disappointing for Christy Martin for sure, but a great night for Sumaya Anani, a new rising star in women's boxing. We've got a promo for U.S. Satellite Broadcasting. All right, Vic, let's go to it, kiddo.